So on the flip side of in-person event trends that we're seeing, um, you know, finally in-person events in 22 has made their long awaited comeback. And we're finding that people want to come back in person. Um, a survey of virtual attendees found that 80% would prefer the in-person experience to the hybrid format. But to what Jonathan and Sarah just shared, there are, you know, the obvious benefits of, of providing both of those options. Um, so definitely keep that in mind in your, in your planning. Um, there's been a more of a renewed emphasis, no surprise, on physical safety. Um, so for those in-person events, we're seeing around 40% of event planners are requiring proof of vaccination. Um, I think another trend, too, that's lending itself well to promoting these health and safety measures are the, the rise of these micro events that we're seeing as well. Um, so what a lot of organizations are doing, rather than having one massive annual conference, as Sarah mentioned, they're doing more of these monthly webinars. Think about how you can do more smaller micro events throughout the community that can reduce costs and reduce the need for those in-person resources as well. And then kind of finding those commonalities among both, um, as we've alluded to earlier, and I've talked about a lot with Jonathan and Sarah, Despite how much has been done on the attendee facing side with these really cool virtual and um, hybrid platforms, there's still a lot of work to be done from an operational perspective. Um, do you, Jonathan or Sarah, want to elaborate on challenges that you've had or where you really think some major opportunities are to advance there? Yeah, I'll, I'll you know, I think there's been so much cool innovation on the, you know, consumer facing front, which has been great. You know, all these virtual event platforms that create really amazing immersive experiences. Um, but for anyone that helps that, you know, actually operates, runs these events, um, it gets super challenging when, you know, either dated, ar ar you know, architecture and infrastructure doesn't integrate with some of these new platforms or there's not, you know, you have all these systems and processes set up for your in-person events. How do you translate into doing that for, um, you know, virtual programming as well. So, um, you know, event success is purely dependent on effective communication and making sure the right people have the right information at the right time. Um, and so I'm super excited about, you know, tools and platforms that can help um, uh, organize and manage the back end of the event. Um, it's not, you know, obviously not quite as sexy as the front facing side of things, but um, operations people, I think, um, truly are looking for solutions that are going to help them better manage and communicate the information that they have to the right people. Um, yeah, I'll just add to say that I think um, exactly the right tools, you know, you have to have the right tools. And I don't think you even know what the right tools are until you, you know, get in there and start using it. Um, and so we've, you know, we started out doing this kind of online community. And that's kind of what we were looking for was this authentic networking. And um, while it was great, I, like I said, I think we had about over 5000 people. Um, in that community, it was just I think it was hard just with our audience. Um, because you know, it was, it's almost like a LinkedIn situation, but it wasn't LinkedIn. Um, and so it was, you know, you could upload what you were looking for, you know, what kind of things you were looking to buy or sell or whatever it was. Um, you know, you could update your profile with all sorts of stuff. And then you could request meetings with people in this community. You could literally search, you know, a company and, and request meetings with people. So I think that was a great tool. I just think it was a little, people didn't know the capability of it, I guess you could say, um, you know, that you, you could reach out for a meeting, you could search, you know, and find the person you were looking for. Um, so I think it was great, but I think it was almost too complex. I think the main thing is just keeping it simple, um, you know, for these, for both, you know, your customers and even like speakers, I know we're going to talk about that, but just keeping it very simple, not, not multiple steps, not multiple registering, and then you log in, um, you know, just keeping it as easy as possible for people to, um, to use and just to be very, very user friendly, I think is, is so important. And like I said, we're still learning, you know, what the best tool is and, you know, what works and what doesn't work. And we have, I think, done a good job of being okay with something not working and moving on. Um, I know it's hard because you, you know, put a lot of time and energy into things and then it doesn't, you know, it's not what you thought, but I think we have done a, a good job of being okay with having to let go of a tool and look for another one. Yeah, I will just echo that a little bit more, like underline and bold exactly what Sarah said is like simplicity for the user seems to be like the most critical thing. And we had a really kind of fun discussion about this in our prep call 
about all the things like like we need to do to get people to do something. And like my mentality is if you need someone to do something, you better get them to about 85% um, of the way in order for them to execute, which maybe that means, you know, removing barriers to registration or like whatever you need to do. But like when you're working at a certain scale, you definitely need to depend on automation, but also all of these speakers, all these people that you're engaging with expect some level of like personalized support because, um, you know, they're your customers, they're your consumers. And so, um, it's that balance of like robotically asking them to do something or like having a friendly face asking for them to, you know, complete something that you need. So, 